Hi, my name is Matangi Devindran. I am from ME218 and I'm also a part-time librarian. So today I'll be reviewing this book called The Diseases of the Ear, Nose and Throat written by Ray Clark. And this book is a book you'll be able to find using IMU's ProQuest eBook Central Access. So after you log in with your IMU email and password, you'll be able to see this page. And you can choose a f um, to do a few things with this book. You can either read online, download the entire book, or download specific PDF chapters because IMU gives you unlimited access to this book. So let's just give it a try and read it online first. This will be how your book looks like. As you can tell, it's the lecture note version and this top bar here gives you quite a few functions. So after you sign in with an account with ProQuest, you'll be able to access functions like highlighting this book, writing down notes or adding bookmarks and you can make this book your own. Overall, there are four parts to this book based on different parts of the ENT and also emergencies. Let's take a look at one of the chapters. So for example, if you're looking at facial nerve paralysis, it gives you a brief brief overview of the anatomy, for example, where the facial nerve is, and it gives you like common causes in tables, and it quickly runs through how you expect it to diagnose a problem as well as a few causes. So you can tell that it runs through the issue pretty quickly, and now we've move on, moved on to another um, part of the book. So it was only roughly around five pages per, per topic. So it's very concise, and um, it tells you clinical points that you can use. And what's nice is that they also have a link to a website where you can do some MCQs to kind of strengthen your understanding. So uh, what I like about this book is it's, it's quite concise. It tells you exactly uh, what you need to know and what you need to remember, especially in the clinical setting when you need information very quickly. But because of how concise it is, I wouldn't recommend it to be used as a, like a main study material for for example for exams and in preclinical school because it can simplify the, the information very briefly so something like this for example where it talks about um, the caudal tympani and the geniculate ganglion you would require a uh, like a good foundation of anatomy already so what this book can be used is for a quick reference material when you need to refresh memory instead of um, relying th on this book as a primary resource. This is the same for other chapters as well. So for example, for acute otitis media, it gives you the learning outcomes. So you can use this to kind of see the, the key points of the chapter. And it gives you very briefly the symptoms, the discharge, the signs, um, pictures to, to accompany those information. And gives you very quickly the management plan and very briefly the points that you should remember. So these are the lecture note ver version. It's it's not very detailed as mentioned. And um, what's nice in clinical school that you might need is all these very quick emergencies. For example, let's take a look at injuries. So it briefly run th runs through the common ones that you would see in emergency and how it will look like. As you can can tell, like this this book is more. Um, suitable a companion in clinical school rather than preclinical medical students because I find that it's too brief to learn the material but it's, it's good if you need something quick and easy to remember things you have already learned. Overall, I would say that this book is quite brief, of course, yeah, I mentioned it a few times but it's quite simplified so do use this book with another resource if you're planning to use this book to study. But if you ever need some more um, reference material or you want to delve into ENT a bit deeper, you can also use this reference to try the multiple choice questions to test your knowledge. I would recommend this book uh, perhaps to clinical students who are in the, in the medical school program if they want really clear, concise and um, quick reference material. Yeah, thank you very much for your time.